building. We in the building. We in the building, bitch. We in the building. We in the building. Yo, yo, welcome to PTA Sports. I am your host, Pastor Analyst, and it's time, oh, it's time for Hot Corn Summer. Hey, yo, let's talk about my boy, my guy, my dog. This one, it's, boom, Saquon Barkley. My dog, Saquon, let's talk about it, man. So, all right, we're going to have to kind of start. We're gonna have to start, kind of start back. Let's go. Let's go back. Okay. Let's go back. Cause before the trade deadline, supposedly, supposedly, this is what people have been saying. This is all legend. I don't got no inside source on anything that I'm gonna say here today. I'm just gonna tell you the things that I know based on the things that I know. Okay. So allegedly, right before the the, the trade deadline last season, the Giants went on ahead. They offered Saquon around 12 and a half billion, right? With like some incentives that could bump that up to like 14, 15, something like that, right? Uh, uh, but that but that was like the kind of the offer that was on the table, supposedly, all right? Uh, Saquon's agent said, mm, nah, we talk about Saquon Barkley. <laughs> and so they were like, we're not going to do that. Giants go, all right, you know what I mean? Check it out, then this is what we're going to do. We're going to fall back. And we'll come holla at you uh, in the offseason. And that's what they did. They proceeded to go on and have a pretty damn good season, go to the playoffs, win a playoff game, get their asses kicked thoroughly by the Philadelphia Eagles and then make their way on into the damn offseason. And then the thing happened. A thing happened, right? Because uh, due to some contract negotiations that were happening, with uh, a, a gentleman whose who's train I'm currently sitting on all, all the way in the back. His, 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 his contract, you know, those negotiations, they were going hot and heavy. And by the time that they finished those contract negotiations, they had to tag Saquon because they didn't have enough time to talk. Oh, what a tangle web we weave. So now we're sitting here and Saquon is on this $10 million uh, contract, right? And he has supposedly turned down a contract that was worth upwards to 14, 15 million a year. And it would seem like maybe Saquon fumbled a $5 million bag. That's kind of the way it seems. Like it kind of looks like maybe Saquon Barkley fumbled a $5 million bag. Now, Here's the thing, though, because we don't really know, per se, what the offer that Saquon Barkley threw back at the Giants that make the Giants go, yeah, we're just going to franchise tag this mofo and get on out of here. I don't know what that number is. Now, Saquon has come out and he has said that he's not trying to reset the market. He just wants to be respected, and he wants to be a Giant for life. <sighs> And here we sit on uh, June 22nd. And uh, yeah, no contract. Still talks though. Apparently it still talks on the table, but uh, but uh, no contract. And let me tell you where I am in regards to this, right? Cause like you guys know, I, I, lo I love me some Saquon Barkley, right? I got his jersey. It's sitting over there. I can see. I'm looking at it. It's right over there. Okay. I got his jersey. I got the man's jersey. And I don't have no current players' jerseys except for Saquon Barkley. So, like, this is the one guy, right, that I said, man, I'm going to attach my, 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 I'm going to attach my, my, my train or hitch my, my, my train to that. We going, we going to go and we going to ride. And now there's, uh, now there's talks of holding out, man. Okay, let me let me let me tell you guys how I feel about this whole situation. Okay, oh, boy, this kind of hurts my soul a bit because I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to be real 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 honest about a player that I really 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 like. Mm. All right, cool, man. Let's keep it real. Check it out, y'all. Uh, here's here's how I feel about this whole situation with Saquon. Okay. Uh, he could be here or he could not be here. And I say that, I say that because 
at the end of the day, right, I've always preached to y'all about how you should never be married to a player, right? I've always preached that to y'all. Never be married to a player. Players are going to come and they are going to go. It does not matter because at the end of the day, we are uh, rooting for the name that's behind Saquon Barkley, the, the, the name of the team that he represents. That's, that's who we're rooting for. So, like, when it's all said and done, like, Saquon could be here or he could not be here. You know what I mean? Like... <laughs> And I know that I know that sounds like I'm not taking a stance here. I'm, I'm getting to my stance. I'm getting to my stance, all right? Saquon could be here or he could not be here because I, I feel like this team is going to go uh, uh, the way that the team goes. It's not going to really be based on one individual person, which is the reason why I'm okay with buying a ticket on this Daniel Jones train because this is about the, the entire team in its totality. Now, I don't necessarily think Saquon Barkley is going to hold out. Okay, I don't believe that that, that he's going to do that. He's got a C on his on his chest for a reason, and I think that he'll come here at the end of the day and he'll do what's right because that's the the correct and the professional thing to do, right? And and you know people people are freaking out because he's not showing up at these things, but we got to remember, right? Saquon Barkley doesn't have a contract with anybody, so he don't got to be nowhere, like. At, at the end of the day, right, the logistics are the logistics. Saquon Barkley is not signed to anyone right now, so he doesn't have to be in any of these places. I know people are freaking out because he's not showing up, but I'm, I'm fairly certain that everybody in that building understands why. Everybody understands that in that building understands, like, this is a business at the end of the day, and, and, and we've got to do the right things by the organization, and Saquon's got to do the right thing by himself. So if that means that Saquon is somewhere else getting his train on, he's not at the facility, and he's just waiting until this whole situation gets taken care of, then that's what Saquon needs to do because that's what's best for him. So I'm not going to get all crazy about the fact that Saquon ain't at these things. He ain't under contract to nobody, so he don't got to go nowhere. He don't got to be nowhere, all right? So... So I'm not gonna flip out about none, flip out about none of that. I don't necessarily think that Saquon's gonna hold out. Okay, here's what I am gonna say though, because boy, this is where it gets real. Saquon is is an exceptional football player. Okay, Saquon is super dangerous. Saquon is the reason. I've said that Saquon is the reason, and Saquon can continue to be the reason. Okay. But if Saquon's goals are to make a whole lot of money on an annual contract type of deal, and see, I don't even really know why I'm talking about this, because y'all, I don't know nothing about these contracts. I don't even understand how these things work no more, because it's the things that they're doing, I just, I don't get. But this, this is what I'm saying. Like, if, if Saquon... If Saquon is trying to get the bag while still being uh, the face of this franchise, then then Saquon is going to have to make some concessions, just like the Giants are going to have to make some concessions. So I'm hoping, right, I'm hoping that Saquon has talked to his agent and Saquon has let his agent know that he wants to be a Giant for life. And to get it done. My goodness. I hope that's what's happening. Because it could be the other way around y'all. It could be. Saquon could be like. Throwing up the middle finger like Kadarius Tony. <laughs> throwing up the middle finger. Hey, hey, hey. Like that's, that's what he could be doing right now. I don't know. I hope that that's not what's happening. I hope that Saquon is legitimately trying to like figure out a way to where he can be happy and still be on the Giants. Because, I mean, that should be the goal, right? The goal should be to be here and be part of this change that's happening on this football team. Like, the goal should be here and continue to be the captain, one of the captains on this team. Like, the goal the goal should be to, to bring a, a championship to, to the team that drafted you. That should be the goal. That should be the goal. Okay. I, I hope that's what the goal is. I'm not saying that that's what it is, man. But if Saquon don't sign, it is what it is, y'all. 
Like, it sucks, but it is what it is. Like, it is what it is. Because at the end of the day, this team is going to continue to to, to move forward, and we have to continue to move forward as a fan base. I don't like. I don't understand why everybody's all wrapped around the ashes about you know Kadarius Tony and 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 what he's doing with his championship ring. I really don't care. I really don't give a shit. I wasn't even thinking about this man getting a championship ring. Being completely honest with you, like I, I understood that he won a Super Bowl and was going to get a ring, but I wasn't thinking about him getting his ring at all. Not at all. Why are y'all? I, that's a whole nother topic to talk about. Listen, y'all. I'm just simply saying, uh, I don't know what the future is going to hold for Saquon Barkley. I, I really, I really do hope that this man makes a makes a, a decision, and you know, and we are able to be happy and move forward as as a, a fan base, as an organization, as a team. I want Saquon Barkley to be here. I don't want him to break the bank, and I don't think he's trying to break the bank. And I do understand that paying a running back a whole lot of money historically is not a good idea. Listen, y'all, I'm not I'm not sitting here saying that we got to sign Saquon, and if we don't sign Saquon, the world's going to end. It's not, y'all, because I'm not married to no player, even if it's the only player whose jersey I own on the team. I'm not married to no player. Don't be married to no players, all right? Look at what these coaches are doing. Look at what the staff is doing, because that's what we need to be paying attention to, and not all this other stuff. And, yeah, I'm going to leave it at that, y'all, because y'all are going crazy about the Saquon stuff, and we can sit here for hours and talk about it. Listen, I appreciate y'all coming here, listening to me talk. I hope that you all have a great rest of your day. Make sure that you like, subscribe, share, do all the things, and I will get up with you guys later. Deuces!